Hello Chucky Eggs! Nice to see you. Welcome to my weekly blog. And what a blog I've got for you today. I have got um, tarot predictions, a few jokes, a bit of laughter, a bit of um, singing maybe, maybe, I don't know, and a wonderful guest. Um, not only is she a dear friend of mine, um, she's a hairdresser to the stars, um, fantastic hairdresser, and I'll introduce her in a minute. Um, I've had loads of letters this week, I really have. Some weeks, what are we taping? Some weeks I get loads and some weeks I get none. So <laughs> let me, um... <laughs> right, now this is supposed to be a tarot blog, but I do get people that write in with jokes and limericks and, and um, this is from Marie and she said, will you read this out please? Um, because it'll make my week. Okay. A man called Billy with a 10 foot willy showed it to the lady next door. She thought it was a snake and hit it with a rake and now it's only two foot four. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant, Marie. Thank you. But I, I do want more tarot questions. <laughs> right, OK. Let me, uh, let me read a letter here. Right, OK. That was funny, Marie. Marie. Right. Dear Gina, loved your blog last week. Very enlightening. Especially explaining what cards meant good sex. Nice to have a man's perspective too, because remember we had Mark last week. Could you explain what cards would indicate that you're about to meet the love of your life? Thanks so much. Love the jokes, Rachel. Right, okay. Yes, we did talk about the sex cards last week. Um, so, hope you had... Uh, <laughs> I hope it was a prediction for, for, for a few people. Smell my teeth today. Hang on. Right, so what I've done is I specially um, pulled the cards out. What I would say would be you're about to meet the love of your life, right? And I'd like to start with the Ace of Cups. Now, we've talked about the Ace of Cups before. I'm just going to show you the Ace of Cups. We've talked about the Ace of Cups before. This is the beginning of a love affair. It's like your heart's racing. And Aphrodite's coming out of the water with a big cup and it's overflowing. And so this is an emotional new beginning. So this would mean, you know, you maybe meet somebody who makes your heart race or, you know, you just meet somebody that you really fancy. So the Ace of Cups is always the beginning of a love affair. Now, the Two of Cups, the Two of Cups. Now that, I always say that's the soulmate card. So that would be um, kind of two people, you know, like uniting. So maybe when you get this card, you've realised that you love this guy um, or girl. Um, so this is the soulmate card. It means unity, it means passion, it means togetherness. It means that you've found the person that you want to be with forever. So that's a lovely card. Now, the Ten of Cups, this traditionally is the marriage card, but it could mean living together, it can mean a civil ceremony, but usually it means marriage and togetherness. So this is absolute, complete unity. Um, go to the chapel and we... So, as I say, this is um, marriage. So, if you get the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups, that usually means, um, in my opinion, that you're going to meet somebody soon who is going to be the love of your life. Now, if you get the world with that, I've talked about the world before. I think this is one of the best cards in the pack, the world. This is saying, you know, the world's your oyster, but sometimes it can mean a soulmate because you can see that that woman and man are kind of um, joined together. So the world is a wonderful, wonderful card. So you get the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups in the world, I would say, oh, get your legs shaved, girlie, because he's a coming. He's a coming into your life. So they're the cards. Right. I would like now to introduce my guest for today. She's as mad as me, so just beware. Um, she, as I said, not only is she a dear friend of mine, she is a hairdresser to the stars, and she's daft as a brush, and I'd like to introduce her now, Louise. Hello, Hello darling, are you all right? I'm good, how are you? Mm -hmm. Another one. Mm -hmm. Are you all right? I'm brilliant, thank you. Right, so, okay, so um, you've never been on me uh, blog before, have no, you? No, first time. So are you quite excited? I am. Are you really excited? Yes. So what would you like, what about them cards, eh? Great. Remember the, the cards. cards? Yeah, yeah. Didn't remember. you get, I'm going to say, didn't you get one of them, why yeah. not? Did yeah. you get a few of them, couldn't you remember? Yes, but there was one particular one that predicted Steve. Right, yeah. just for those who don't know, Louise is with the love of her life, but two <laughs> years ago, was it about two, two years ago? Yeah, so two years ago. Just over two years ago, I, I predicted him, didn't I? Yes. And I think you got the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, you kept getting the Two of Cups yeah. all the time, and I said to you, didn't I, this, yeah. is, this is the love of your life you're going to meet, you know. Yeah. But he came, what, what card did he come out with, can you remember? King of Swords. 
That's right. Yes. Right. I just found the king of sorts, <laughs> and I'll show you what Steve. He's lovely, Steve Louise's boyfriend. He's absolutely gorgeous. The first time I met him, I just loved him. Right. Tell a joke while I'm looking for the king of sorts. Um, Gina. Mm-hmm. Who's this? It's me, you silly devil. <laughs> That was your dad. dad's joke. That I was lovely at dad. Do you know you always get your dad done when I do a ring? He always comes to him. He always comes probably to him. Probably, you know. Oh, probably is. Yeah. Hi, Dave. Hi, big Dave. <laughs> That's a lovely Dave. Yeah. Right, King of Swords. Right. Now, that, I think I've spoke about the King of Swords before. Um, he's got quite a big sword in his hand. <laughs> no jokes. Um, <laughs> and he's, um, he's, he's probably a uniformed man, like yes. Steve is a fireman. So, mm-hmm. I mean, how yeah. marvellous was that? Yeah. Um, and I said to you, didn't I, when you met him, I said, this, well, when you were going to meet him, I said, oh, oh this isn't a young boy, Louise. Because you have, you have been a cougar in the past, haven't you? Have I? <laughs> I think so. Have you been a cougar? Yeah, no. you are, yeah. yes, you have. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We all have. Um, so I said, this is a man, isn't it, mm. didn't I? I said, this is a man and not a boy. Yeah. So I said, he's probably got a uniform on and he's a lovely man and yeah. he's, he's noble. And <laughs> she kept getting the two cups. And every single path that I did, the two cups came out, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. So there you go. Do you like a crystal ball? I love your crystal ball. Do you? It's very nice. Would you, would you like to hold my crystal ball? I'd love to hold your ball, Trace. Gina. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm really called Trace, don't you? Okay. Louise calls me Trace. Yeah, Ben. Okay. Ben, yeah, Ben. Yeah. Uh, what do you call a man with three balls? Juggler. Juggler! <laughs> Would you like to put the ball back? Okay. <laughs> Give them a good show. Well, actually, would you like to use those or would you like to use the black ones? You can use the cosmic ones or you can use the mythic ones. I like them ones. You like the mythic yeah. ones, right. Okay. They're the oldest ones. Yeah. Never mind. I will use you next week. Right. I don't These are my favourites. I know. They are good, like, aren't they? Yeah. They are good. I've got another limerick here. I want you to read out later. Okay. <clears throat> Do you know how rubbish I am at juggling? No. Shuffling. Juggling. juggling. Oh. <laughs> Balls on the brain. <laughs> Right. <coughs> right. Come on then. Right, card of the week, darling. Just give me a card and let's see what your week is going to involve. Oh, drop that one. Which one do you want? Top. That one? Yeah. <gasps> right. I've never, I don't think I've talked about this card before. This is the Three mm. of Cups. Right. Which is celebration. Now, you're not going to a party the weekend, are you, or something? No. Are you sure? Well, I'm going south. She's going south? South. <laughs> <laughs> to watch rugby. <laughs> well, what it is, mm. that's the celebration card. She's not anybody's birthday or anything at the weekend. Yes. Yes, we've got something going on at the weekend. Is it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, there's a party after the rugby. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Right. The three of cups can mean celebration. It can mean... Um, it, it can mean... Like, at the least, it would be a big party, mm. but at the most, it can be an engagement, you know, a christening. It's yeah. something where everybody gets together and it's celebration. Yeah. So if you were asking, like, a yet, like say, if you were asking a question, mm. any question you want, am I going to get this new job? Am I going to make a new man? Am I going to get a rise, a rise at work? A raise at work? <laughs> where do you work? <laughs> Yeah, raise at work, yeah. <coughs> you know, and you got that card. That would definitely be a yes card. You know, it's a very, very yeah. positive card. Nice. Wow. So what song? Um, cool in the gang. Celebration <laughs> time. Come on. You're gonna have a lovely week, darling. I'll kill. And at the party. Oh. Definitely. Right. I think you should. Um, I think you should read one of the limericks out because I've got another one here. I think this is the one. Is this the one? No, that's the no. one. That's the one with the ten foot. Uh, that's the one. Yes. <laughs> the ten foot one. <laughs> right. This is from. Oh, this one. So right. Right. Okay. There was a young man from Madras whose bollocks were made out of grass. When they jangled together, they played sommy weather and lightning shot out. Of ah, so was I fresh today, fresher than yesterday. Had a cold cream, lobster with cream. <laughs> So that was very risky. Yes. Very risky. <laughs> a lot of my um, people that watch this um, blog are very risky and you're very naughty. But we, love it. we do love a little bit of filth, don't we? Yes, we do. Right, <laughs> okay. I think we'll have a joke. Um, is there anything else you'd like to ask with the card, darling? Um, is there any, any question you want to ask before I do my joke? No. Are you sure? Yes, I think we're... Okay. okay. 
So, she got the love of her life, the king of swords, <laughs> Steve, lovely guy, lovely guy. Um, <coughs> he paid me to say that, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> right, so, let me think with... Let me, uh, oh, okay. This fella joined the Foreign Legion, mm-hmm. and he's in the desert, and he has a word with the... Um, what they call him, the, like the sergeant major. And he says, right, you know, I'm here. Um, is there anything to do while I'm in the desert? And he said, well, no, I'm sorry. He said, you know, you, you get your breakfast at seven o'clock in the mess. You get your dinner at um, six o'clock at night in the mess. And he said, but there's not a lot to do, really. He said, we are in the desert. He said, so, he said, is there any women? He said, women. He said, we're in the desert. He said, the only thing I can say, <clears throat> he said, the camels come round on a Friday night. He said, so, you know, use your imagination. Friday night, nine o'clock, camels, they all come in. So the fellow goes, all oh, right, okay then. So anyway, he has the week in the, in the Foreign Legion and he has his breakfast and he has his dinner and he's talking to all the guys and everything. Anyway, Friday night comes. Quarter nine, all the fellas, it's like a herd of men, rushing, 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 outside, right, mm-hmm. see the camels. And he says to the sergeant major, What's going on here? He said, you said that, you know, what's going on? He said, well, you don't want an ugly one, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Little bit risky, but not completely. No. Well, I hope you have enjoyed today's blog, everybody. Um, and I hope you um, get the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Ten of Cups, or the world in your life this week. And I hope you meet the love of your life. If you don't, I hope, I hope you get the Eight of Wands, because that can mean a quickie. And a um, ten foot sword. And a ten foot sword. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you, darling, for being part of my vlog this thank week. You and I'll see you yeah. soon. <laughs> right. Bye-bye. See you later, darling. <laughs> don't choose daft as me. Right, so um, I'll see you next week, everybody. Um, if anybody's got any questions or, you know, keep coming with the limericks because I do enjoy limericks and I do enjoy the jokes. And if anybody would, would like to appear on my blog, pick a card out for the week, you're very welcome. Okay, bye for now. Bye.